Continuing with our coverage of Frosty Faustings 14, let's look now into some Street Fighter V Champion Edition. Starting off with some top 16 winner side action, we've got Cheesy T going against Footwork. Displaying some incredible reactions, the moment his opponent whiffed a command grab in neutral, Footwork was very quick to punish Cheesy T even if it was from quite a distance. But although offensively Footwork might be quick on the uptake, when it comes to defending against Laura's mix-ups though, it seems like the Urian player just wasn't fast enough. Yeah, Prez to go for the overhead again to activate Beam Trigger, but Cheesy T does use his Beam Reversal. It's kind of like a little strenuous to use Beam Reversal as Laura, because mm -hmm. you want to build that meter and start going ham. You want to get a party time. The throw. Oh, Jason the shimmy! Yo, footwork! He does got the footwork, though. Yeah, he does get that finesse and bless, you know? I like the rhythm of his buttons now. A little less fireballs, more uh, close range game. Uh oh, fade away. Got the shimmy. Stays in front. Oh, yo, I got paid. One that's, more a, hit. that's one layer too. Ooh, cheesy T. Are we uh, sure cheesy uh, T ain't been playing uh, like that? Uh, Hold on. Uh. Really good. Her footwork with that corner carry. Oh, he's stealing turns. Stop stealing turns. That's gonna stun. That's gonna stun. What's but. this post up? What's the post up on? What we got? The charge up. You gonna use all the bar to go far? Head up, pick him up the crotch fears. Double down, ashy elbows. Stays in front of the heavy kick to the throat. Are you oh. kidding me? That was kind of nasty. I was fucking low too. I was like, I'll just block low though, you know, stay silent with it. Hey yo! Hey yo! Now heading down to the loser side of top 16, we've got the CEO champion Mono going against Stack Bradford. After quite a nail biter of a first round, Stack Bradford would clutch it out with his defensive awareness. Knowing full well that Mono was going for an instant overhead to close off the round, Stack Bradford would block it and take first blood. But by being a little more careful with his pacing and with his options in closing off the next round, Mono would tie it all up. He shift to get away from danger, but again, here's activation. And that poison, kick it down, look at how fast. And help! Oh, the chase down, oh Mono. my god! No! Yes. Uh, one more touch to steal it. Yo, cool. That didn't kill! Oh, it's an overhead! He blocked it! Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh no, tries to interrupt it. Gosh, you're gonna kick probably would work better there. So, Mono. Oh, okay, I like that, but a little scary putting yourself into the corner. Side. Okay. Oh! With these these oh. shifts. Trying to leave. Oh! Great opening for stack. This is going to be really big. Does have feature ground deck. Activates it. What's the mix up? Oh, going back. He also has feature ground deck. That is going to hurt. That fireball becomes real in the throw. Oh. Does it though? All right, uses the bar. Now doesn't have any resources, especially Mono having the life lead and getting out just like that. Still, no bar at the bottom. B trigger, that B trigger T fireball. That B trigger one fireball becomes a real threat. Oh. All the states. Oh. Mono, and Mono coming through. 2 0 over Stack Bradford. After eliminating Stack Bradford, Mono would qualify for top 8 alongside Stupendous, whom he would also eliminate, and Tega, who would do the same to Smoke. Then, up in winners, Punk, who would send Magnegro down to the loser's quarter final, and Footwork, who would face just Pokey for the right to face Punk in the winner's final. As strong as Gil's damage and comeback potential may be, with his somewhat mediocre neutral, once a character like Falk has gained the advantage over him, it would be very difficult for him to turn things around. That's why it wasn't a surprise at all to see Footwork try his hand with his M Bison right after. Little bit more! Okay, Mark. the wake up three framer to the rescue. Footwork. You need a whip punish here. That was hard assumption, dude. No punish though. So still alive in the game and still retributed. Stop. Still doable. Tough though. I will go to Bison immediately if I lose this. 100 game. Yeah, go to Bison. Go, go to Bison. Go to Bison. That might have been a carry attempt. I don't know. Nice. Scissors. Exactly. No more EX. Can't be quite as fancy. Oh my god. Got it. Not quite there for super. So close. Plus. Plus. Oh, oh, scissors. Probably thought it was a two-on-one. Definitely scissors in between. Nice! Oh. Yo, he gets busted out. Anything's gonna do it, Pokey knows it. Oh my god. Just relax. Be Zen, be one. Ah! No! No, no! He did that wall? Yeah, that was real dangerous. Oh! oh what a tech, what a tech! 15 on the clock! After losing to just Pokey, Footwork would head down to the loser's quarter final, where he would then get eliminated by Tega. Unfortunately for Tega, his run would come to an end after losing to Mono. Mono would then proceed to the loser's final, where we will have a rematch of last year's CEO Grand Final. Looking like Punk was a lot more prepared now against Mono's fall, the camp player would no longer let any gap in his opponent's block stream slip by him and would punish it optimally. Outside of sweep range now. 
There we go. Punk blocking it out when he knew it was coming. No, that's not plus. Can be at range. Oh my god, here comes the confirm. Oh! That was godlike. That was godlike. Super, nice and easy. Oh, not even. Even better. I forgot about my Ken. Oh no! Yeah, he reeled back in his seat on that one. Somebody. Oh! Here we go, Punk. Mm -hmm. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Ouch! Direct man pressure. Throw for kill. Oh! Try to get the shimmy or the jab. You get all. Try to get the crush counter. Fuck no balls. About to get one, though. You got something to play with. Danger. Oh! He's underneath it! Oh, no! Nice! Who won? Who won? Who won? He got it. He got it. Fun got it. Fun got it. Fun got it. It didn't really look like a draw for a second. Is that? After eliminating Mono, Punk would proceed to the grand final for the chance to avenge himself after his winner's final loss against Just Pokey and to determine Frosty Fausting Street Fighter Fire Champion. You got it, dude. That is a confirmed to a super if I ever seen one. Low forward, DP super, it's coming. Okay, well, look, at least that, you get to take your turn back. Yeah! Okay, forward fierce, by the way, minus 10. Minus 10. There you go. Punk ain't giving it to him, so he's taking the throw wise. Wise decision. Look who's doing the walking down now. Okay, Pokey. That's right, that's right. He's starting to get a little more comfortable here. That's what I like to see. Oh, trying to play foot a little too much. The jump in. Punk's going to hold on to those resources here. Trigger one on deck. That's that. Yeah, Pokey keeping it real from himself right here. One to one. Oh, no. Wow. Oh, no. Punk? Oh. I'm not surprised it wasn't a punish, too. Oh! Fuck! Turn that butter. Yep, I can do it too. I've been doing it for years. No, not gonna what? work. Not he probably thought he had V Trigger too naturally, maybe. You actually it might be right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got that low. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, is that tight? Wow, okay. Really? You think there'd be a gap Woo. between for the V Trigger? Mm. Yeah, there really, you go. Really, kid? There you go. That's gonna a be reset. a reset. Punk with a 3 1 in reset. Mm. Oh, master back. That's okay. He flipped out. Oh, no EXs time. No 4 EX ESDP. 100%. Or oh, walk mm. into that either or. Always has a super too, huh? Feels like it. Yo. Huh. Oh, man. There's good. <laughs> and then there's really good. <laughs> oh, and that guy, Punk? <laughs> creme de la creme. Aye! 2 0 for Punk. It's a chance. Big stun. She does a lot of stun, actually. Punk feels it. Almost home with the beat trigger, too. Yeah, this is, this is rough. No anti air! There had been anti air every single time until just at the end. And congratulations to Punk, who takes Frosty Fausting 2022 for Street Fighter V. So that's it for Frosty Fausting's 14th Street Fighter V Champion Edition tournament. Congratulations to Punk for the win. For more high quality fighting game tournament streams, make sure to check out Low Kick Esports. Also, if you enjoy what I do, don't forget to show your support by leaving a like, sharing it with your friends, and by subscribing to all miss out on the latest recap from my channel. That's it from me for now. Till next time.